Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on installing the Enterprise Connector. Whether you're looking to link your database to an Infor cloud-based application or connect IDM to the print server for seamless printing services, the Enterprise Connector streamlines these processes, keeping your data flow secure and efficient. The Enterprise Connector is a crucial tool for securely integrating Infor OS Cloud Edition applications with your local environment. It serves as a robust bridge contrasting with open access scenarios by ensuring that communication between your on-premise applications and the cloud is controlled and secure. The Enterprise Connector operates within a Java runtime environment, utilizing Java 8 for current compatibility. While Java 8 remains supported, we're also preparing for an expansion in compatibility to include Java 17 starting April 2024, ensuring continued support and enhanced functionality. To access the most current details on prerequisites and installation procedures, please visit our documentation at docs.infor.com. Let's get started. First off, we'll create a home for our enterprise connector within Infor OS. Let's head over to Infor OS, selecting Ion and diving into the navigation pane. From there, we'll move to Connect and then Enterprise Locations, where we'll hit the plus sign to bring our new location to life. Let's name it EC Recording and drop in a description. Remember, these locations are neatly sorted alphabetically. From the pop-up screen, click Download Credentials, and a CSV file will be saved to your local drive. Then navigate to the top of your screen and click Download Enterprise Connector. After downloading the JAR file to your local drive, simply double-click on it to initiate the setup process. The screen will then transition to the setup wizard, ready for your input. Navigating through the installation wizard's prompts, we'll click Next to choose our installation directory for the grid. The grid plays a vital role, allowing us to run our VMs on local servers. We'll proceed by accepting the default port settings with a click on Next. Then we'll specify the installation path for our JDK. Let's move on to selecting our database type. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using SQL Server Lite, although a full SQL Server is the usual choice for broader applications. We will stick with the default name for the grid database and proceed by clicking Next. Then, We'll enter the credentials for our database administrator, followed by those for the ION Runtime Database user. In a previous step, we downloaded a CSV file containing the location credentials. Please open this file in a text editor as we will be using it to copy and paste information into the installation wizard. We'll start by copying the location ID from the file and pasting it into the access key ID field to facilitate communication between our EC and the Cloud Suite. Next, we'll copy the secret key from the file and paste it into the secret access key field. Lastly, we'll input our tenant's name into the tenant mapping field to complete the setup. We have the option to configure a proxy service, though we'll bypass this step today. Once we've responded to the installation prompts, we'll move forward by selecting Install. As the installation progresses, you'll observe the application starting up within the grid. Upon completion, simply click Next. And when you're greeted with the installation completed successfully message, go ahead and click Done to finalize the process. To check if the applications have begun running, click the Refresh Screen button at the top. You'll know the launch was successful when you see the number one appear in the services column. 